Oh, I take grab it here. Um, you know, one always says that one has, you know, completed buying all the tools one needs, and then one finds out that there's yet another tool that one needs. Um, I needed to um, cut a little bit of logs. I mean, I'm living in a kind of a uh, private house with a uh, with a garden with some trees in it. Um, from time to time, there are um, branches and, and stuff, and even logs that um, can't really be handled with normal hand saws in a reasonable way. So I thought I'd put an end to the agony of trying to get rid of them, because they have to be cut up into smaller bits because I haven't got a trailer to take them away. So I tried decided to, in, to invest in a lightweight chainsaw, and I came across this Black & Decker battery drill. Now, um, this will either be my one of my best purchases, or it's going to turn out to be one of the worst purchases I've ever made, because this is actually quite expensive. So, we'll see. So the first thing I'm going to do now is just unbox this, and then I'm going to um, charge it, well, have that on video, and then uh, I'm going to go and try and saw some stuff with it. And, and I'll take videos of the actual performance of the sewing and see how it, how it works. And I really need some coffee for this one. There are um, corded ones which run directly off an extension lead, but with a, dealing with an extension lead in the garden is a bit awkward from time to time, especially when it's in our case, when the fall it gets wet and stuff, it's nice to have cables running around all over the place. And then when one talks about those that run on gasoline, you know, then they make so much noise that one doesn't really want to have that in a real environment. So, let's get this thing open and see what we can find on which end we can just open it up. Okay. 
access to okay, I'll have to show that on the video. So put it around this way. Like that. That's it. So it's slotted in and then you pull up on the red lever and then it slots up. That's cool. And I'm hoping to get it. Uh, hoping to buy. I mean, the idea was to one of the things I was justifying the cost of this is I was thinking I could get more tools using the same battery pack. So we'll see. I need a new grass trimmer, the one I'm having is falling apart. I need to get rid of that. Tie um, tie for the trigger. chain goes in there. As I said, I don't have any right now. I will fix and the chain board. Oh, a little bit extra cardboard. Yeah, that's long enough for my... I mean, I'm not like doing forestry, so I would never give it for forestry. Uh, I have a small garden and sometimes I get stuff that's just crap to solve by hand, so... Okay, so now I'm going to um, charge up the battery, get the oil, and let's go see um, if it actually works. Sincerely, it does because it was expensive. So, that's enough. Sorry for the kids. <laughs> I live in a residential neighborhood, so. Over, it's going to be empty like three seconds flat. Not a good design. Okay. I really want you to waste all. Of course, but good. Yeah, and then make it easy to drop. And uh, a little bit about safety if we're going to use a chainsaw, it's not recommended to do it with these clothes on, but since I'm under a controlled environment and doing specific parts that have already been sawn down trees, it could be okay. And if you're going to really saw down trees in the forest, then make sure you get safety boots, which have protection for your toes, and then safety pants that are meant for chainsaw use, plus a jacket of the same type. Um, some people use gloves, and then you need the, you really will need the, um, the visor and eye protection and the helmet. So that's just for your information. So. Uh, but I think we'll be okay just doing this small little project. I'm going to be interested to see how much noise this makes. So, the battery in, charged. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
So it's going to be interesting if this was a worthwhile investment or a complete waste of money. I'm just going to reposition the camera for this oil. Okay. It's not that bad. I thought it could have been worse. So now take it slowly and patiently and it seems to work. So let's cut this in half. Uh, I'm always seeing up something for filming, so I'm going to start to be safe. Should have safety pit. <laughs> I'll say it's not completely hopeless, which is a good thing. I mean, I think for this kind of small garden amateur stuff, the only thing that depends on how many logs can it cut with one charge. And I mean, we're not talking real logs. I mean, real logs in the forest about that size. I wouldn't. Ah, forget. I'll be doing gardening, garden maintenance. So, I think I'll set up the next one. Ah, darn thing ran out of battery. Yeah, only after sawing up all this. Which is, in my opinion, not bad. At least good enough for um, garden cleanup, hobby stuff. And these were, as you saw in the picture in the video earlier, this was like one, and, one to one and a half meter long. Uh, logs and then I just cut them to be smaller so I can transfer so yeah I think that's got around about around or the camera overheated so I think we lost a little bit of footage of the sawing by and I think we've got enough anyway um, so anyway if you like this video consider subscribing or at least check back for now again we'll make you more and, uh, if, you'd, if you do subscribe then you hit the bell icon then you you should get notifications from new videos. Well, I think it um, gets a thumb up for me. Mm. Yeah, get it in the picture. Here, somewhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. I like getting rid of all the stuff because now I can just pack it into bags and uh, put it in the car and then truck it. Yeah, happy guy. Okay, see you in the next one. He's always wondering what I'm doing. But he didn't seem to mind the noise too much.